Summer is here, my friends, and you know what that means. It means less formal and more relaxed outfits. Sometimes the more relaxed our outfit gets, though, the more frumpy it becomes. You know that just one well-placed accessory could totally put the outfit together. But who wants to accessorize when it's 90 degrees outside with 80% humidity, right? So what do you do? Do you embrace Frumpsville? Or do you deal with heavy accessories that make you feel even hotter than you actually are? But never fear. In this episode of the Adore Your Wardrobe Show, I'm actually going to teach you how to accessorize your outfits during the dog days of summer. I'm going to teach you the details to look for so that your jewelry is lightweight, easy to wear, but still packs a punch. Jewelry that's going to take your outfit from just ordinary to oh my. All right, guys, let's get started. Hey, everybody. Welcome. It's Kelly Snyder from Adore Your Wardrobe. And if this is the first time you've watched an episode, I just want to say welcome. I am so glad you are here. I run an online fashion education program called Adore Your Wardrobe, and I have been doing it for the last eight years. And in that time, I have helped thousands of women demystify fashion by learning how to dress their unique body types through formulas that are based in math and science. In my program, I break down the formula for putting together a great outfit, including the cuts, styles, colors, and accessories. But on top of that, I actually run a boutique too, and my boutique specializes in helping women pick out jewelry that is best for their body type. So I have loved jewelry since I was a little girl. I remember playing with it when I would go and visit my grandmother. She had a beautiful jewelry box that I would be able to just have free reign over. And I really do believe that jewelry is like the icing to your outfit cake. It really helps take your outfits to that next level. But as somebody that loves jewelry, I also know that costume jewelry can be heavy. It can rub against your neck. If the earrings are too heavy, it pulls down on your lobes. Sometimes a pendant necklace is gonna fall between your boobs. And when you pick the wrong piece, it almost ruins the outfit because you're just annoyed, right? The piece of jewelry is just so annoying. Like you don't wanna wear it anymore and you're fussing with it instead of it being part of your outfit. I hate that because nobody has time for heavy, ugly, pain in the arse jewelry. So today I'm going to share with you what I look for when I buy jewelry that is for the summer time frame. You're going to learn not only the details and the styles, but you're also going to learn a bit of trickery and you're going to look for the exact things that I look for when I pick jewelry for my boutique. So in general, you want to have a bold look for your jewelry, but you want it to have a light weight feel. No one likes wearing heavy jewelry in the summertime. And because of that, they tend to default into accessorizing with petite pieces because they are lightweight. And while petite pieces have their place, their ability to elevate a casual outfit is pretty limited. But picking something a little bit bigger and a little bit more bold, but also having it lightweight means that you need to look for very specific things. So the first option I'm going to give you is to look for items that are made of natural materials like raffia, shell, wood, or leather. In general, natural materials are going to weigh a lot less than their metallic counterparts. And this is true for necklaces or earrings or bracelets. A leather wrapped bracelet is going to be way lighter than a metallic one. Earrings are going to weigh less when they're made out of raffia. And a shell pendant is going to be lighter than the same size metallic pendant. Okay, so here's a great example. These earrings are about an inch and a half in size. So they're pretty substantial. It's not like a little itty bitty stud, but they're going to weigh next to nothing because of the raffia top and then the wood bottom at it. When you look for pieces with those natural elements it allows you to wear bigger, bolder items without feeling so weighed down. Option number two is layered with trapped white space. Okay, so trapped white space is a design term for when another element surrounds a given amount of space and essentially traps it. 
In graphic design, it was always a sin to have trapped white space because usually what that meant is that the eye was instantly going to be attracted to that space because there was a big bunch of color all the way around it and usually a white glob in the center. But in fashion, it's a little bit different. So the eye is still attracted to that trapped space, but it tends to fill it in and create one element to the eye. This is awesome for you to know because your jewelry is going to appear bigger and bolder than it actually is. Is. The trick is to pick layers that aren't too far apart. Okay, let me show you some different options so that you can get a better idea of what I'm talking about. So the first one is these earrings. So these earrings have four layers that are pretty close together. The layering helps keep them lightweight, but since the layers are so close, the eye kind of closes that gap and visualizes them as one. The easiest way to think about it is to think that these layers will become one individual design element. Here's another example. So this necklace is a multi strand necklace made of gold beads. Again, because the layers are so close together, the eye is going to fill the space in between each layer and it almost feels like one bold piece of jewelry. What I want you to remember is that not every piece of layered jewelry is going to have the same kind of trickery to it. The key is making sure that the layers are close together. So let's compare it to this necklace. This necklace is also multi-layered, but since the layers are more spread out, it doesn't feel as bold as the other necklace that I showed you. The eye sees three layers, three very distinct and separate layers, and breaks them apart instead of keeping them together. Option number three is a geometric with trapped white space. Okay, so this is very similar to the layers with trapped white space, but instead of a layer, we are going to have one geometric element. Okay, so this is a pendant necklace with a double ring at the bottom. And as you can see, the ring creates a trapped white space area in the center. There really isn't that much material in this necklace, but the eye is tricked into believing that it is bigger because essentially it's going to fill up that space. Now, the trickery is only going to work with a single geometric element. So here's another necklace. It's got geometric elements to it. It's got these five or six circles, but since there are so many of them, the eye decides that they are part of a pattern and doesn't necessarily fill them in. Do you see how this necklace feels more petite than the other pendant necklace even though they weigh the exact same. Option number four is a resin that is coated either in metallic or color. So resin typically is any kind of plastic. I'm sure there's way more technical terms for a specific kind of resin, but for our example today, that's what we're just gonna call it, plastic. What I love about resin is that it is so lightweight and it has the ability to be coated in a gazillion different ways. It can be metallic, like gold or silver. It can be colorful, like all the colors of the rainbow. It can also be different shapes, so it can be beads or links or triangles or anything in between. And I love it because it looks super luxurious because of those finishes, but it weighs almost nothing. Okay, so here's an example of a resin necklace. So you notice that the beads are basically every color of the rainbow. And because of the size of this necklace and the colorfulness, you would think, well, that's gonna be pretty heavy, right? It looks like a statement necklace. It looks like it's gonna have that heft that a statement piece would have, but it's actually the opposite. And the reason is because of the resin. The resin makes it super lightweight, yet super colorful. Option number five is pave stones. Pave refers to a field of stones that creates a multifaceted surface that enhances the reflectiveness of the entire piece. So Pave takes a page out of the layered options that I showed you, but adds in a bunch of sparkle. Kind of the thing to think of it as is like, essentially one stone would be shiny, but if you take a bunch of smaller stones and clump them closer together, it looks like one big shiny stone. Okay, so this is an example of a Pave a stoned necklace. So you can see that the heart is not very big. I think maybe it's under an inch, but because the stones are set in the pave style, they're gonna grab the light. It's lightweight, but it packs a punch very differently than another necklace of the same size that maybe is just a plain metallic or even a coated enamel. But the best, the absolute best, which is the final option, is when you can stack one or two of the other options that I told you about and you get the best bang for your lightweight jewelry buck. 
So this is the Gia bracelet. So this is a five strand stretch bracelet. It's made out of resin. But again, because the resin is super lightweight, it's very colorful, but again, we have that trapped layering. So this bracelet appears bigger than it actually is. So anytime that you can get one or two of the options in one piece of jewelry, do it, because it's going to be the best bang for your jewelry buck. Okay friends, we do not need to forgo wearing beautiful jewelry in the summer. No one, and I repeat, no one wants to wear heavy statement pieces in the summertime. I don't even want to wear heavy statement pieces in the summertime and I love jewelry, okay? But with just a little detective work and knowing what elements to look for, you can have stylish, lightweight jewelry that can take your simple summer outfits to the next level. Do you wanna take it a step further? I know you do. One of the biggest mistakes that I see women make is not wearing the right style of jewelry for their body type. Wearing the right style of necklace, of earrings, of bracelets can make such a difference in your silhouette. If you are not sure what your body type is, I've got you covered. Click the link below in the description and you are going to enter in three measurements into my proprietary body type calculator and then you're going to learn not only your body type, but the best way to dress it and accessorize it. And the best part, it's free. Remember friends, fashion isn't about buying more stuff. It's about buying the right stuff. We all deserve to have a wardrobe we adore, full of items that fit and flatter and make us feel amazing when we wear them. All right, that's it. Thanks so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. Have a great rest of your day. God bless, take care, and I'll see you next time with more fashion tips. Bye-bye.